Today's video is all about how to dress right for your body type. I am gonna show you a few different body types, the tips and tricks for dressing them and dressing yours. Stay tuned, I'm gonna get you all dialed in. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a fashion stylist. And for those of you who do, welcome back. Before I get into these most excellent video, I just wanna say thank you so much to Grey Goose for sponsoring this video. They approached me and wanted to know if I'd be interested in working with them. I love Grey Goose on its own and then I looked through their campaign and I absolutely loved it. I just felt like it really was on point with my brand and how I feel about life. Their campaign is living victoriously. And so this video is about exactly that and that is celebrating your body body and living like every day is a celebration. That is what it means to live victoriously. So thank you to Grey Goose. I love you guys. Today's video is really special. It's something I've been working on for a while. There are so many different body types out there. I have done all the research. I've been styling for many years. So I instinctively can look at somebody and I know exactly what they need to wear. This is something that I am a specialist at. So for those of you who are out there and think like it's so difficult for me, that is completely normal. How do you find out what your body type is? You're probably sitting here, you're like, yes, I wanna know how to dress for my body type. What's my body type? There is five distinct shapes. You're gonna kind of fall into that category. You may sort of morph into a little bit of two categories. You don't have to take all of this so seriously. Just take it in and just go with like a rough estimate. If you guys want one rule that you can take home from this video is think about the ABCs. So if you're getting dressed and you're looking in the mirror, what do you want to accentuate? So for me, I like my shoulders. They're square, I think they're fit, they're toned. It's something that I like. So I tend to wear tank tops or I'll wear off the shoulder tops because that balances my top with my bottom. B is for balance. So that's when it goes into like the wide leg jeans or the wider skirts, or I tend to wear stuff with more volume on the bottom because that balances out the width of my shoulders. And C is for conceal or cover. So maybe you have an area that you don't love, that's something that you just wanna cover up. So for me, for example, sometimes I just feel like my chest is just too big. And so I want to cover it up. So I'm gonna use something like a scarf, a blazer, a leather jacket, just to like break up the space. The first body type that we're gonna start with is the inverted triangle. Because why? That's me. So if you can imagine, an inverted triangle, if you're looking into the mirror, if your shoulders are wider than your hips, then you are an inverted triangle. That is what I have. I have these teeny little hips and these wide square shoulders. So what I tend to do is wear things that are bigger on the bottom. So that will balance out my shoulders. So for example, wide leg jeans look really good on me. A-line dresses and skirts look really good on me. I also have a larger chest, and so I tend to wear things that are more empire waistline that just flow down, or something that is lower cut, so it's not higher cut. So I'm dealing with a few things. I'm wearing a new pair of wide leg crop jeans. This tank is one of my favorite tanks. I wear it all of the time. I feel like it just holds everything in, and it's cut low, so it gives me enough space here, but not too low that it's revealing anything. These slides are from Santorini Grease. I love these for summer and coming into fall. The metallics are in and so is the platform. This is my friend, Linda. <laughs> so she has come here graciously to help show her body off to you guys and talk a little bit about her past experiences and what works for her and what doesn't. The body type that I wanna talk about is the athletic build. For you guys, an athletic build, you do have the broad shoulders. You have a little bit more of a narrow hip, but your waist is like a little bit thicker because you got some abs going on. You got more of a butt because you're athletic. Um, athletic thighs, so you're just like a little more robust. Yeah. Tell me why you feel comfortable in this. Ever since having children, my middle section is not my favorite part anymore. I used to be more like this, but I have to deal with what I have right now. So I like billowy because it kind of brings volume up top and then slim on the bottom, kind of just brings proportion for me. With an athletic body type, you are actually fairly balanced. So what she's doing is, she's giving herself some shape. She's accentuating what she loves and she has a great chest, so she opens that up. She's balancing the athletic frame by giving herself some shape in like the loose blouse that she tucks in. And then she's concealing 
her waist, <laughs> which she doesn't necessarily love. And something that she's done that's really smart, and I always try to tell you guys this, you would not want to put a loose shirt like this with a pair of pants like I'm wearing because you would just be like all too much going on. So if you're going to wear something loose on the top, you're going to wear something tight on the bottom, which is what Linda's done. She does know how to dress herself. She does it very well. <laughs> but this is something that works for her body type. Linda is back for her second look. Okay, we're twinning. We are actually wearing the exact same jeans, different colors, and kind of the same style top, but we have similar body types. So something with the athletic body, if you tend to be a little bit more square and block-like, these jeans, they flare out, so they're giving her balance. And again, the top is cut open, giving her the appearance of a shape. So if you think about things in terms of geometry, she's opened up the chest area and added some volume at the bottom. What did you think when I pulled out these jeans for you? I would normally never think to pick out a wide leg jean like this, but for whatever reason it works because I've got volume up here and the volume down here and it kind of brings my waist in. The thing about these jeans, they are actually tight at the top and a little bit tight through the bum. is giving her the illusion of a waist, right? She also has more of a butt. So it gives her an illusion of a waist and it just, it really gives her that hourglass figure, which she typically doesn't have, but we've created it. So there you go, guys. Try something that you haven't tried before. Okay, you guys, this is my friend Megan. I would say Megan's body type is more of a pear. Would you say you're yeah. what, like a little bit? So again, if you are a pear body shape, what that means is your shoulders are a smaller width than your hip width. I asked everyone to bring their favorite, one of their favorite dresses or favorite outfits. So this is what Megan's brought and I love it. It's so pretty on her. And why do you, like, what do you love about this outfit? Um, is it weird if I say because I don't have to wear a bra? Like, is that a <laughs> No, that's amazing! To your audience. <laughs> um, no, it's comfortable, it's easy. Dresses are my favorite in the summer because you literally put on one piece of clothing and look like you made an effort. So that's she's kind of fun. right, yeah. it's true. It's easy. So Megan is a pair and so she's looking to balance that. So she has brought her dress. This dress actually goes right up to the top and that just gives her a little more interest, a little more detail going up high. So that balances out the hips. So again, it's all about balance, but this just really looks good on her because it's very flowy and again the material has come right up high so there's lots of decoration going on up here and that really draws the eyes up so then you're focused on her shoulders and it sort of gives her a little bit more balance to that something she told me she's like I like to kind of conceal my stomach as well and so a flowy dress will do that for you and so it just like allows it to just grace by and she feels really good Okay, Megan is back in her second outfit. Here is my cute little pair. There's something that is really interesting about this outfit. I want you guys to take a look at it. Let us know in the comments below if you figured it out because typically a pair, you would want to have more volume up top to balance the bottom. But we have actually an A-line skirt on that is fuller, that draws the attention down, but there is something different that is happening that has given balance that Megan can wear this outfit. It is her hair. Megan has this beautiful hair. It's actually one of my favorite features on her. It's something that's really important. So what she has done is she's actually balanced out the A-line skirt, not with the top, but with the volume of her hair. So if you've ever tried on an outfit and you've had it, your hair in a pony or it's been in a bun or something like that and you can't get the outfit to quite work, Try giving the balance using your hair, not the outfit. So this actually is what that does. If her hair is pulled back into a pony, it would just be way too much weight on the bottom, especially for Megan. Okay guys, this is Tessa. I have to give everybody a mm -hmm. hug. Tessa is my hourglass. She's an hourglass and like with a little bit of a pair. She's a tiny bit bigger in the hips, but I do feel like mostly you're an hourglass shape. Like when you're dressing or when I'm dressing you, that's what I'm noticing. So when you're an hourglass, typically your waist is the smallest part of your body and your hips and your shoulder width tend to balance. What are the types of pieces that you love that work for you as an hourglass? Basically what she said. Yeah. Um, anything that's going to ex uh, accentuate my waist and play up my chest a little bit. The A-line's perfect, just it doesn't cling to the hips. It just has a nice flow to it. Another reason that I really liked this dress was it's your simple go-to black dress, but I loved the detail on the back 
with having just like a loose bow and it's cinched in with an elastic at the back instead of having to actually wrap or tie it really tightly. So it makes it that much more comfortable. This dress is great for her. Again, it's got that open chest. It clings to her body, but spreads out on the bottom. It's very relaxed. So if you're an hourglass, you can think of that. You do need something that's clingy. Definitely do not want a dress that just hangs straight down. That is not good for you because the waist is the best part of you. So you just need to show that off. Mm -hmm. Here is Tessa in a second look. This is something we went to the store together. We looked at a bunch of things and this is one thing that just looked magnificent on her. Tell me what you liked about this outfit being an hourglass slash pair. And for your body type, what did you love? I feel like the, the jeans were a good find just with being less than I spend on any other pair of jeans. They're 110 um, and they're a mile high rise. So they're higher rise than your average because I have long legs and a really deep hip. My natural waist is really high and these just hit it in the right spot. So I can get away with wearing a trendy high rise jean that's slim with the top that's kind of like flowy, a little bit asymmetrical. This is a wonderful thing for you because they are cinched in at the waist. Mm -hmm. And so she's really showing that off, which is amazing with like the forever long legs. So yeah. something else that she's done really well with this, she chose a light top. So this is a great look for you. Again, hourglass and pairs. For the pair, she's balancing. And for the hourglass, she's cinching in at the waist. I love it. Hey guys, this is Jenny. Everyone give Jenny a warm welcome. Most of you guys who watch my video, you know Jenny. She is my makeup artist. Jenny has a, what's called an apple body type. Like apple is sometimes, if you carry a little bit more of your weight around the middle, we all carry it in different areas. What can you do and how do you dress the apple body type and how do you celebrate the body parts that you have? This is one of her favorite outfits. She's gonna talk about why she likes it and I'm gonna tell you guys why technically it works for the apple. So I love a dress that has some shape to it but doesn't call attention to my tummy. I do love a v-neck. I love something that sort of floats across my chest. My husband calls these um, drapes. <laughs> but I love kimonos because they, they're effortlessly stylish. They don't make me too hot. I just feel like I, I flow like a queen sometimes. You are a queen. <laughs> and actually, I love your kimono. I feel like I've even stole this when we've done a yeah, shoot. Like, I, I think, feel like I, I put it on. So. Sometimes when we're on like set, I'll be like, can I have that? And I'll like take Jenny's kimono <laughs> and wear it. So what you want to do, if you're carrying a little bit more weight in your middle, you just got a little more confidence there, we'll call it confidence, is that you want to do an empire waistline, which Jenny always does. Mm -hmm. She does that because she knows that allows it just to flow off of her body. And something else that she does, she doesn't wear really baggy dresses. Like this dress is not super baggy, it's just skimming her, but it's not tight. So she feels pretty in it. And then another thing she does well is she highlights her legs. Jenny's legs are actually one of her best features. <laughs> I personally think she could go even shorter. Having a piece of jewelry that draws your eyes up to her chest is also another great feature. So it's taking any unwanted attention off of the waist area. Stick to those things, empire waistline, celebrate your legs, your chest, your arms, whatever your body type is that you like and it works for you. So you should live victoriously, celebrate your body and the pieces that work for you that you can use in multiple ways. Like my little apple here, <laughs> she celebrates her body every day and when she puts on a dress that she can wear to multiple things and like she says, she can get up at five in the morning, get out and get to work. She knows it works for her and she feels beautiful. One of the reasons that I actually started Secrets of a Stylist, this YouTube channel, is because I really think that being able to lift up a woman and instill just a little bit more confidence, that energy, that love that she feels about herself, that trickles out into the world. So that is my hope in starting this channel. I appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea. When I launch that video and I start seeing the comments come in, so you guys hit that red subscribe button. Also hit the bell beside Beside it, that's the notification button. And so when I launch a video, it's gonna let you know that I'm sitting in your inbox waiting for you. Come talk to me, let's blow up the subscribers, say hi to everyone, and give some comments and love to the girls in the video. Love you guys, and I will see you next week.